Hello everyone, John Drupal 12 back here again with another video. Now today, I'm doing another movie review, and today, obviously, is May 2nd, the official American release of um, The Amazing Spider-Man 2, and I just wanted to give my review on that, seeing as how I did mention in my previous movie review, which was Captain America Winter Soldier, that I was most likely going to do more Marvel reviews, and I just basically finished watching it, so, there's a lot to talk about, so I generally am going to try and make myself talk less and give a very specifically short review, uh, um, let's get this started already, the first thing that I have to say is that, uh, the overall plot, I'm pretty sure everyone can get into, you know, it's, um, it's been out there for a good while, because, uh, if, for those of you who don't know, the film was previewed and basically shown worldwide prior to the American release, so everybody pretty much gets the plot, so if this is spoiling you and you've yet to know anything about the plot or have seen the movie, then of course this is not for you, but going into seeing this, I generally already knew what was going to go on, which is kind of unfortunate. I didn't, I don't usually look up plots to big movies that I want to see, but then again, um, Amazing Spider-Man 2 was something that I generally was, I don't know, it was something that I was specifically not anticipated to see, uh, at first I was, but then, uh, when time continued to go on, it kind of felt more like Spider-Man 3, when they were just trying to stuck stuff it with a whole bunch of nonsense that it didn't need you know and based off the trailers it's very misleading as to the story of this the the sequel to amazing spider-man and I, th I i like how they accomplished it it was very well done and I, I i really have to give them um a lot of support in in um continuing the story of peter's parents and what what was going on with them and the relationship with Oscorp and all that nonsense. It, it was definitely very good, and I I hope they continue going on with if um, in future sequels. I really hope that they continue on with that storyline. But then again, that's not the main focus. Uh, you go on from there, and you you get into characters like uh, like Max, aka Electro, and I I kind of he he was. Amongst one of the big things that I, at going into it, I wasn't really sure it was going to work. Not that, um, not that I don't like Jamie Foxx as an actor. It's just, it, the whole thing was just a, a calamity going into it. So, but, um, after seeing this film, I think his, um, version of Electro was pretty good. Obviously, th there's, a. Uh, there's various versions of the character, and there's various versions of multiple characters, and and um, in the film, you know, like you have a different version of a Rhino, different version of Norman Osborn, you have a different version of Harry Osborn. So obviously, there's a whole bunch of different versions of characters that we like, and essentially, uh, going into it, that was one of the things I didn't like about it. You know, I was kind of hoping that we would get more of a traditional comic book feel to it, but and nonetheless, it was pretty decent and good how they accomplished it. I really liked how Jamie Foxx's character was uh, desiring to become famous, or his desire was to be known and and become Spider-Man. I really like that. Like it, It's kind of a very sad subplot amongst everything else is going, but the majority of the, of the movie is focused on, um, Peter and Gwen's relationship, which I really appreciated, um, the big thing prior to the release of the film was that, um, Mary Jane Watson was going to be in the film, and, um, it would pick up their relationship for future sequels, and I, I think it was a good idea for the writers and Mark Webber to, um, cut her out of the film, not that, I dislike the actress or the character. It's just that this movie, going into it, um, even if you didn't think it would be, is a lot about the relationship. I mean, the, the whole th the whole movie itself focuses on the relationship between Peter and Gwen and how Peter is 
donned with the duty of trying to protect her and, you know, his overall um, confession with trying to keep her safe and, you know, there's this whole nonsense about it. And I really appreciate it for what it was, but I, I could have gone for more of that if they were going to do that because there was just a lot of focusing and it would have been good if they were going to focus on the relationship they could have just you know continue going on and on and on but nonetheless it was a pretty good interesting story uh another thing i really liked was harry osborne another character that i i wasn't really anticipated to see in this movie um i do like that he keeps uh, the actor who plays him he keeps everything that the character is all about, like his relationship with Peter, his str- estranged relationship with Norman Osborn, and how be- how he becomes the Green Goblin is actually pretty cool. I-, I I didn't think it would take by the end of the film for him to become the Green Goblin, but it- it- the way it-, it turns out is actually it does make sense and it is pretty um, well executed. So I do have to give him props for that as well. Um, essentially, uh, th- this movie was very well done. I really liked it. Uh, one of the big things that I really liked about the film was the music score uh, and the references to multiple other characters. Of course, the the big one is you know Doc Ock, and of course you know the Sinister Six and whatnot. But I really liked Hans Zimmer. Hans Zimmer was just a very, 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 very well done. Um, score that he did for the film and and it was so well done that it, it felt more than the film itself like the film is good it's visually pleasing but his score is like geez it's just like i i could just have the soundtrack and that could be my spider-man movie it was just that well done of the score and then again it is it is Hans zimmer so what are you gonna you know what are you gonna expect from from him, he does a good job at everything. But overall, the movie was very well done. I, I can't really go on in depth without spoiling it for everybody. But overall, it does have lots and lots of great things. I, I do appreciate the fact that they, you know, had a good story arc with Peter and Gwen. And, and made that the main focus of the entire movie. Along along with Electro and, and Green Goblin and Harry Osborn and whatnot. So I really do love the fact that they go full circle with, um, their relationship, uh, it is sad that, um, of course, if you haven't seen the movie, of course, it's, it's sad that Gwen, Gwen dies in the end, but I think it was very well done, I mean, if you listen to the podcast, um, it was something that I was hoping to see, and they accomplished it, and I really liked it, it could have been a lot darker, but eventually, you know, it, it's kind of well done and, and cool in its own way of how they accomplish the death of Gwen Stacy from the comics. You know, it's not as deep as in the comics, but I think Mark Webber did a good job at accomplishing that specific scene and moment in history. And I, I just loved it. It was very well done. Um, now the negatives. The, the big thing that I didn't like about, this, the, about the movie was Sony. Sony... Obviously, is the is the the ones who own the rights to Spider Man and all that, but God, they just went overboard on the visuals. You know, I mean, I know it's a two hour, you know, long box office summer movie. You know, it's 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 a blockbuster. It, that's what it has to be. But Sony took too much charge and 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 courtesies on doing whatever they wanted on this movie. And not that it's a bad thing, but Jesus Christ, it was just... A lot of the things that Sony did in this movie were very unnecessary. You can tell that Mark Webber, regardless of how badly he wanted to do this movie, that you can tell Sony was like, you know what, we're going to do it this way, and that's it. But overall, that's like the only really big thing that really bothered me was all the Sony things that they did. And uh, that's all overall... Um, the, that's overall what I didn't like about this movie. This movie was a good surprise for me. I, I also didn't really like the new suit. I know they were going for a lot more of a comic book Spider-Man suit, but I don't know. The new, the, I liked the previous suit. But overall, this movie was definitely good. It was definitely a big, good box office Spider-Man kid movie, comic book movie. And I definitely encourage everyone to check it out. It was definitely very good. I, I don't know. I personally really liked it. 
I give it a good 8.5. But overall, that's been that's been my thoughts on it. And I, I do want to point out that there is a post credit scene of X Men: Days of the Future Past. I I do wanted to. I just definitely wanted to point that out before I end this review, which is basically um, everyone's thoughts that. You know, X-Men will be a part of Spider-Man universe or Spider-Man joining the X-Men universe and them having their own little Avengers. It's it's very unlikely. I mean, I know the reasons as to why um, X-Men Days of Future Past was featured in the post credit scene, but it, it's not for what people think. But then again, I can't really say and you know that it's set in stone that it will never happen because this is the comic book world. You know, it could happen eventually, but... It's 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 definitely a thinker. It's definitely one of those things that you have to think about. Like, is it possible that Spider-Man might be part of the X-Men? Or join up with the Avengers, like, sometime in the near future, post-Age of Ultron? But that's just something I just wanted to point out and ask all, my, all the people who watch this video. But overall, I really enjoyed um, Amazing Spider-Man 2. It was definitely a good movie and just definitely wanted to put them out my own review, and hope you guys enjoyed, and I, I'm sorry if I sound very strange, I'm kind of getting sick here, but <sighs> just definitely want to put it out there, it was definitely good, definitely great for them, definitely the best Spider-Man movie that definitely doesn't hold back, so definitely check it out.